So, Neil, what was your view on that game? And disappointed that we've lost, obviously, um, because I think we, we, well, I think we deserve something out of the game. I think um, first half we were excellent, probably one of the best halves of football we've had this season, <laughs> especially at home. Um, we were fantastic, and the game, um, you know, there was fine lines in the game, and, and, and the two opportunities really, uh, the two mistakes, if you like, that we've made um, throughout the game have cost have cost us those two goals. But first half. I thought we were superb. Um, had lots of the ball, played some decent stuff, um, and had three, probably four, real guilt edge chances to to go in front. Um, we don't take those chances, um, but I've got to say, some of the football we played and the tempo and the momentum that we had within that first half, we looked like the, the team that were, were top of the league. Thought we started well second half, um, but then. Just dropped off. I mean, it's probably difficult to play at that tempo for, you know, for, for long periods. We've got to because that's going to, what's going to get us results. Dropped off a little bit second half. Mistake, lack of concentration for the first goal, and that's the only real time that they got in and looked like, looked like, you know, scoring and being a threat. They get in, they score, um, and just when you want to stay in the game and try and. Um, get another foothold in the game and make the substitution, try and get a foothold back in the game. We can see a poor second, um, you know, and, and to not be able to win that second ball on the edge of the box, which, you know, and, and as he knows, he's, he should be getting close to the ball and either getting fouled or hooking on. Um, and 1-0 we stay in the game and potentially get an opportunity to, you know, to get back in it. But I'm pleased, I've got to be honest, we've lost, but I'm pleased with the performance. I think um, there's building blocks in place with regards how we've played today, the stuff we've worked on in training um, over the last 10 days since the Hensford game, we've put into practice today, and there's, 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 um, there's some positives from what's happened today. Um, and the first 55, 60 minutes, I think you can see that. Um, like I say, you started very brightly, uh, pressuring them, forcing them into mistakes and creating chances. Was that something you'd um, um, got into the team and told yeah. them to get that early? Well, that's what we're good at, you know, and going back to when we've had results earlier in the season, that's what we, we've been doing. Um, you know, and, and, and anybody that you speak to about Altrincham, the way they play, you've got to do that, you know, and, and force them to make mistakes as a back four. I thought we did it to a T for the first like I say, 55 minutes, first 10 minutes of the second half as well. I thought we were excellent. Yeah. You know, we started on the front foot and we looked the most, the more lightly. The first half was, was, was superb. We were on the front foot. We were creating opportunities. Some of our football and our passing was excellent. Anything that they they uh, they headed out, we were, we were dropping on second balls. So we were doing everything that I wanted us to do, drop on second balls. But when we get it in the final third, keep it and move it quickly. Couldn't ask for anything more other than a goal. And when those opportunities came along, you know, we didn't take them. And that's sounded a little bit like a broken record, but that's what our Achilles heel is at the minute, you know. And, and they've not really had to work that hard for their two goals and taken them. And that's the disappointing part. We're having to work really hard to get an opportunity, and we're not taking those opportunities. Um, you know, it's got it's got to change and, and got to turn, and it will do at some point. Um, obviously, we saw uh, Mass and Weston and Carl Holly playing up front together. Yeah. Obviously, you didn't get any goals, but do you think it worked well? Yeah, three? I thought so. I thought, you know, it was a big decision today because obviously it was late on, that, well, late this morning, that we knew that we'd got Mass registered in time to play. Um, so there was a decision to be made there because he's not been with us this week. He's been with Colville because mm -hmm. you know, the loan was up last week. But, you know, we've got him and he signed at the end of the season. and. and He's a threat, you know, we need more goals from him, that's plainly obvious, but he's a threat and he gets us into areas that cause teams problems. Um, and I just felt he would probably at home as well, and from the off I thought he'd give us more of an outlet down that left-hand side than perhaps Ozzy would. Um, and then bring Ozzy on you know, into the second half to try and influence the game when the fullback was tiring. As a front three, um, yeah, I thought, I thought it worked. I thought, thought um, Carl got hold of the ball, albeit he's had two really good chances and he should score. His pedigree, yeah. you know, and where he's been and what, what he's good at, you know, and every club he's been at, he scores goals, and that's what he's good at, you know, in front of goal when there's that moment where you want that little bit of quality, you'd expect him to score. He hasn't. I still think he will for the for, for the football club if we're getting into those areas. So, um, and I thought Westy worked his socks off and looked a threat all afternoon, but we're just not seeing the fruits of our labour at the minute. 
um, stick at it, that's all we can do. You know, that front three and that midfield three, I thought was some real drive from Robbie, especially first half, and, and Jack Sherritt, who was excellent today. You know, I thought there was some real drive, we looked a real threat, but we've got to back that up with goals. Um, and like you say, positives to take from this, and are you hoping if you can do something like this against top of the league, then against other teams, you, yeah. you'll get your rewards? Yeah, right? well, you, you, you know, anybody that's been here today and watched the game, there wasn't a massive lot, you know, there wasn't a big a big difference between the two sides. They're, they're obviously top and clear at the top because they're consistent in what they do. When they don't play particularly well for an hour, they stay in games. Um, they're hard to break down, but they stay in games. They've got a goalkeeper that made saves for them. And like I say, they stayed in the game. They waited until they got fouled in back in the game, they get an opportunity in their school. There's not a lot of difference between the quality individually in any of the sides in the division, it's just those key moments in, in games, the consistent sides are near the top and the ones that are a little bit inconsistent are further down the table unfortunately. We've got to find some way of um, you know, scoring goals quickly. Um, we need something to, to, to go for us as well, I don't think I think little bits of luck and slices of luck and decisions, I don't think they're going for us at the minute. And they don't when you're struggling. Um, they do when you're at the top of the table. I think something will go in for us, a decision will go our way. Um, you know, and, and off the back of that, I'm hoping we can go on a little bit of a run and find some consistency, because that's what you need. Get a little bit of consistency, get a couple of two or three results, and then go on a roll again. But it's tough, like I say, every week, um, nobody's going to roll over and there's no easy game. And, um, you know, and today was was always going to be a difficult game. They're a, they're a, they're a top top side because they're consistent in what they do. Um, but we've matched them in most areas. And looking ahead to Tuesday, we spoke on Monday about how important the cup competitions are going to be now. It's another yeah. chance to make. To yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we still got games in hand in the league. I still I still think once we um, we get on a bit of a roll and we get a result and we can put like, string two results together and go on a bit of a run, I still think we can move up the table and and be in and around that. That top ten, I still do. We've got games in hand, and we've still got, you know, it's twenty odd game, twenty games left, something like that. So there's still plenty of points to play for, sixty odd points. But the but the cups are really important, you know, and and we've done well so far in the cups. And uh, you know, we want to try and improve on last season, which is the position we were in the league, which I think was what fifteenth or something like that. We want to try and improve on that. And like I said, um, two or few weeks ago, finishing in and around that top ten if we can. You know, try and move the club forward, but I want to try and put some silverware on the, on the table as well with one of the cups, or a couple of the cups, or three of the cups, whatever. Let's try and have a better season than we had last season. At the moment, it doesn't look that way because um, we're getting some unfortunate results, and you know, and, and, and we're not getting in some games what we deserve. Um, but in other games, we've got what we deserve, which is nothing. We need to turn that round quickly, get some points on the board, and win some cup games. Okay. Cheers. Man. All right. Cheers. Cheers.